this stage. Alrighty, now we're moving on to the water. The water, the uh, all exciting water. Cleaning off our brush once again. Okay. And if we look at our horizon line, which is really runs through here, I think what we need to do is get some ultramarine blue in first. So I'm just getting some almost pure ultramarine blue on the tip of the paintbrushy, but I'm trying to work it into a chisely sort of edge. Okay. Now I don't want the line to be too perfect. If you want it to be perfect, you would have put masking tape down and you can paint up to the masking tape, then peel it off and you'll have a perfect horizon line. I don't really want that here. What I want is just a bit of a hazy, misty kind of a um, horizon. Got to be careful I don't go in and pick up the paint off the uh, rocks there. Okay. Stand back and have a good look to make sure that you uh, have your horizon line reasonably straight and horizontal. Okay. And I'll bring some of that paint in through there. It's not going to be a pure blue like this, of course. Um, so we're working some green. The actual, certainly where I live here in Geelong near the Great Ocean Road, the, um, the water is quite green in a lot of places. Around these rocks here, I'm going to go for a bigger flat brush, just so I can be a little bit more careful about what I'm doing here. Bring that horizon line in like so. Okay. And just work my way around the rocks there. In hindsight, one another way of approaching this might have been to put the water on first and then put the rocks over the water. Either way is fine. This is probably just a little bit more tricky trying to work in around the rocks. But it's a good skill to be able to you know, know how to do that as well. Okay. Getting a little bit dark and murky through there. We'll put some white caps over the top just to ease that off. Now I kind of like the way this is quite light over on the right hand side here. It almost looks like the sunlight is... Um, in there. So I might try and leave that as much as I can. Okay, now I do think we just need to green that up a little bit. So the best way to make green is um, with blue and yellow. Uh, we'll use ultramarine blue and yellow ochre. It gives that sort of olivey green, but just to brighten it up a little bit, just taking just a touch of our yellow medium. So we've got this sort of olivey green, but a little bit bright olivey green colour. And uh, just work some of that in as well. A little bit out in the background there. Ooh, now see what happened then was I brushed into a reflection, which meant that my brush got dirty. It's time to stop. Just pull out some of that paint. Okay. Going for a slightly lighter green here now. Just did that again. Can't believe it. Not to worry, I didn't go in as hard that time. So, and. Uh, no. Just blend. I like the way it's got those different bands of colour from blue to green. Um, that often happens, you know, you'll see that quite often with Australian sort of oceans and things because of the variations in depth of the water and so on. Okay. 
I'm mixing up some more of this green and what we want is a nice dark right through there. So I'm going to take more ultramarine blue, more yellow ochre, but I want darker so I'm going to just pop a little bit of alizarin crimson and burn umber in there. The reason why I want it darker is because it's going to form the bottom or the underneath or the shadow area of the wave. Okay, So you can see that dark there, but let me just get a bit more blue into it, a bit more yellow ochre. This is going to be our main wave that we're going to put in. So I've got quite a bit of it on the brush there, and our main wave sort of sits through here, okay, like so. It's important to get that sort of established. Now, if you go and look down at the beach, you'll see as the waves stand up just before they break, they become quite a bit darker like this. So, yeah, go and have a look next time you're out at the uh, beach. And uh, notice I've got it going on a slight angle as well. It's not coming in flat. Just That just makes it a bit easier sort of on the viewing eye, I guess. Makes it a bit more interesting. Clean off that brush again. Now, in this section here, we're going to go back to that sort of yellow, olive yellow colour. And then we've got sort of the sky colour as well. So, um, the sky colour is where the water is quite shallow and it reflects the sky above it. So let me just work in this green here. Okay. A bit more green. A little bit like so. And the sky color is, you know, ultramarine blue with quite a bit of white in it because remember how we mixed the white onto the canvas first and then mixed the blue in so I've just mixed up ultramarine blue and white there and I'm just going to start to apply that in really where the uh, water is quite shallow there it's kind of like where the waves come up and they wet the sand and then the water recedes and you get that bluey sort of effect careful with that there so you can see what the problem is. I've gone over the um, reflection, picked up some brown. That's okay. It just adds some interesting texture to it all. Okay. Take it right up to the green there. And, you know, just blend it in a little bit. So you can see we've got all these different layers of colour happening now. Making it quite interesting. You can leave some sand and put in a little bit more of the wet area there. like so. Now I think our wave line here, I'm just going to go back into straight ultramarine blue and uh, just apply that into parts of this wave here. Okay, and then underneath I just want to get some blending happening in here a bit more. So just work at it. I'm stepping back occasionally to have a good look, see where we're up to, um, and consider what I need to do next. So that's a good thing for you to be doing as well. So I think what we're ready for now is that sort of crashing over wave effect. Now this is a, you know, we're doing a simple introductory painting here for you today. So um, if we're doing a more advanced wave, there'd be quite a few steps involved. Um, but because we're doing a simple introductory painting, we're going to keep it simple for you, okay? So, keeping it simple, I'm going to take some titanium white, and um, we just want just the tiniest little touch. Can you see that there? Tiniest little touch of uh, yellow ochre in it, just to warm it up a bit, and probably get a little bit more. Just to warm up that titanium white there. 
Just getting a little bit on the brush there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my wave here. And I want it to start to roll over around about here. So that's what I'm doing is just rolling that brush over. You're going to very quickly pick up the underneath paint. So come back, clean the brush off and... Just get that rolling motion with the brush. Okay, now I didn't mix up anywhere near enough paint. So I'll get some more titanium white, yellow ochre. Okay. Make sure that's mixed in reasonably well. Um, we don't want to be putting chunks of uh, yellow ochre on there. We want to just change the, you know, warm up the white really is what we're doing there. Okay. Like so, and then part of the wave won't have broken yet. So we won't make that a breaker, that part. Now that's all getting very dirty, that colour there. So I'm going to get some more paper towel and pull out some paint. Notice I'm not really going into my thinner at all um, to clean off these brushes. I find that if you just pull out as much paint as you can, you get them reasonably clean. That's often enough because um, as soon as you go into the thinner, of course, you're going to get this wet and then it can become unmanageable. So to keep it really simple as, you know, just starting out painting, keep it simple and uh, just pull the paint out as I've been showing you there. So, I think what we now need to do is just get some titanium white and uh, not too much on the brush and let's just put in a couple of little touches in there like so and where this water would all be crashing just make some marks Try and think, you know, what would it look like? Um, there'd be crashing water, there'd be a, a bit of an edge on the water where it's come up to the shore here. Like so. Okay, now I think we need to get just a little bit more uh, titanium white onto these. So, excuse my back for a moment while I concentrate here. It's going to be the main sort of dump of the wave right there. Okay, now just clean off that brush a little bit. This part here just not quite working for me, so what I'll do is I'll just blend some of that back in there. And if you look where the foam sort of comes up um, and it touches the sand, you can just get the brush, you know, paint on the brush like that and just uh, pick out those spots and just rough in some sand. You don't want that to be too blended in. Um, not rough in some sand, rough in that foam. You don't want it to be too blended in. You want to keep nice white sections of that foam there like so. Um, I've also got a little bit happening up here. OK. 
Okay. Key here is to not overdo the um, foam and so on, but you also need enough in there to get it to represent what you're looking for. Don't want to overwork it. It'd be very easy at this stage to sort of keep working and working and working at this. But it's often better just to make a few decisions about where things need to be and just pop them in. And um, usually your first instincts are right. Okay, now out the back here, we're going to have some other sort of uh, waves and things. And what I think I might do is just switch for a moment to the palette knife. Just getting some of that um, titanium white on the palette knife like so, not too much. And just what I'm doing is just placing the edge in a few places because there's going to be some waves breaking out the back here as well. And the further away they get, the thinner the line's going to be for those. So just keep that in mind. He says as he puts a thicker one on, but not to worry. <laughs> Okay, just get a couple of thin lines out the back here. Okay, so you can see what I'm in now by the thinner lines out the back. You can actually just using the knife drag some of these down as well. You can create little mini breakers out the back here. Okay. So the one thing you'll think is this, this wave through here, it's probably not got enough highlight color on it just yet, but we'll, uh, we'll tend to that in a moment. Now let's go in here where we've got this section. Um, what we're gonna do is just get some titanium white on the palette knife, not too much. Okay, just a little bit there. And uh, up around where the water line is, let's just put in some water in there like that. Okay. Particularly out at this end here. It's gonna be sort of, water's gonna be crashing up as it hits up against those rocks. And there's also gonna be disturbing over the reflection like so. One of the things we can do with the reflection is just uh, take our brush fairly clean and just sort of drag through some watermarks as well like so. So it's not perfect as it was a moment ago. Soften off some of those and that will start to make it look a bit more realistic I think. Okay, so you can't, you know, you can sort of see the water's all rushing in here, um, sort of diffusing that reflection. Get a bit more white. Just highlight a few of those areas a bit. Okay, so that sort of gives it a more of a realistic effect. Um, on the reflection. Whoop. That one didn't because it's not going to pull out the, um, <laughs> the darkness there. So what we can do is just come back in and just work all that back in. Key is not to panic. Temptation is always to panic, but don't, you know. Just blend that in, that can now sort of take on the appearance of some seaweed or something. Okay. The other thing you can do with the pellet knife to get some of the edges of the water 
you can actually get some uh, titanium white on the palette knife, like so. And if you wanted to, you could, you know, cut in some uh, water lines and things if you wanted to. Kind of tricky with the uh, setup of my easel here, but you get the idea. You can just sort of cut in some watermarks like that. Okay, I'll pop that back. <clears throat> 